rumors that Emmanuel is queer. I feel as a celebrity, he should open up about his sexuality. This is when God, this is what I say, when God bless a queer person, puts you in the spotlight. Before you know, you start trying to hide yourself. You start trying to change everything about you. But God blessed you even when you were queer from your queerness and all your... As you all know, we are most of us, or a lot of us, watch Big Brother Nigeria. Big Brother is like the biggest watch reality show in Nigeria. It remains unbeaten year after year, season after season. So when there's a news about one of the previous housemates, you know that it's going to be big news. We hear news about them every week. But it's not very random that we get LGBTQI news about him. This is one of those things. Now, Emmanuel has been accused, who is like the boyfriend of Nico Rose. He has been accused of being a bisexual man. And that was what allegedly crashed his relationship with Nico Rose after she found out that he does, um, that he does, um, what's the word, men. And he does men too, as well as women. He switches to both gender. But Emmanuel has denied this fully. Like, it, it has nothing to do with this. It's an all lies. You guys are going to see some, some other blogs that talked about this. Thing. So it doesn't look as if we're going to book the news. You see reference to other blogs and posts that talked about the news. But he has denied the news. I said that is a lie from the pit of hell. It is just a pure deep lie. It is just a, a sham and a big lie. But then again, as you guys know, I have good memory. And I remember Emmanuel appearing in an HBO documentary, which is related to the underground. And he made a few seconds appearance here. But long enough for my eyes to catch it and for me to remember, even when I saw him on Big Brother Nigeria, and I remember, oh, same guy who modeled in the modeling section on the legend of the underground, the HBO documentary. So hmm, are the dots connected? Or is it just a blood outline? I remember your host, Marvelous Achafik, you. And I'm always joined by Chimmy Rizzi. Hey, Good morning, Mr. Chair. How are you doing? I'm fine, I'm thank fine. you. So, mm, Q will talk starts. Yeah. So, Chimmy Rizzi, the videos, blogs talked about it. But me, one thing about me is that I always have the positive memory. I remember this guy. I know you might not remember. You both saw that documentary. But I remember a man of on when the models that were appearing on that. What's the name I'm trying to remember the name of the the guy who does the modeling, the films and models for agencies. At when they were walking, when when is it on the scene when they were cut walking? Yeah, it was almost almost to the end. Yes, no when they were no when they were doing the final, the finale when they attended now when they were um, doing the model, the prize. I think it was Mister I did or something. I can't remember the shoe. Why? I put to come because the reason why I want to see like, oh, this guy is so fine, looking so beautiful, and I caught a glimpse at him only for me to see him in Big Brother Nigeria. I was just like. This is not a man from Big Brother Nigeria. It seems like this is the same guy. One, then I was just like, ah. We have a community that is shown how to survive by themselves. The definition of a gay is when you are caught having sexual intercourse with a guy and they didn't caught you. The whole world is watching me, so do your worst. For Nigeria, is we fear what we don't know. When are we going to overcome all this? Nigeria and Ugar Corp, this is the time for change. I want to encourage billions and zillions of people. Telling them that you have rights. Do you know why? Because you're human. But you may what do you have to know what's your pick on this entire story? I think you've read most of it on um, the news reports. You've heard the, what people have to say about this. What's your own take on this? Obviously, I think we should start realizing that our celebrity are not all heterosexual. We've had this conversation so many times, even when I talked about Genevieve Naji being or a lesbian, people still keep on saying, oh no, that can't. Sorry, just give me one minute. People keep on saying, oh no, that cannot be possible. Our celebrities are human beings. They do have different sexuality. We need to come to that realization. 
The thing is that in the Nigerian society, we haven't given places for celebrities to open up themselves. And when they travel abroad, that is a, the place they free they free themselves. There've also been rumors that even Naramali is also queer. So they have been so many. They are not just speculated rumor to demise or deteriorate their character or what's the other word or to defame them. No, these are real situations that we need to start. And we to start realizing that our beloved celebrities do have other sexual preferences. They do have fetishes. They do have things we don't even know. So let us stop classifying or putting everybody in that one box. For Emmanuel, again, there have been rumors that Emmanuel is queer. I feel as a celebrity, he should open up about his sexuality. This is when God, this is what I say, when God bless a queer person, puts you in the spotlight. Before you know, you start trying to hide yourself. You start trying to change everything about you. But God blessed you even when you were queer from your queerness and all you have been doing to raise you up, to make you the spotlight of the queer community. But then you come and deny your community when God God has given you one assignment to do which is to put queer people in the spotlight the queer people have been put in a bad light we know queer people are just people who are drug addicts jobless people promiscuous people people with no ambition i feel this is a time emmanuel could have shone the spotlight upon the lgbtq community so this is the time he could have said we as queer people are here we exist this is what we are going through but when those opportunity comes we try to hide ourselves we try to shy away from them we try to become this other person just for publicity's sake just for the I, i've been told so many times you know you can do this do this, do this but when it comes just tune it down so that you know you can be political correct you know i feel we should be open about what our community who we are we should be open about our stance we should be also be open to um the reality of our community like i earlier said so for me i don't think this is a rumor i feel emmanuel is queer i've seen it in him there are so many queer attributes and every person has both sexual preferences the only thing that most people do is that they just choose which side of their sexual preferences is more dominant everybody has a masculine and a feminine side too we just choose which side or society makes us choose which side we want to be more dominant over to you, Mr. Achafo. I feel on this show, we've always talked about the fact that people need to come out with their full chest about their sexuality. And we do not, and we do not, especially me, I stand against people using, if you know that another person's heart for fun, you can catch fun as much as you like, but you not use another person's heart for fun. So I get the fact that Nico Rose feels betrayed, the way she would feel, if this case will actually turn out to be true, as has been spreading on speculations. But when it comes to celebrities, <clears throat> it's a different ballgame entirely, and the notch goes up higher. I know when I was uh, watching the movie Bling the Russians in the cinemas, one thing that um, when Dinola um, Grace, you know, anytime it comes up, when it comes up and it does its acting, like, what people focus on, rather than focusing on, oh, the actors, what's what will be going on in cinema, the mystery is, ah, gay, the boy, boy, look at the way he's doing, ah, this guy is a gay, Kony gay, I should say the parental this was not the time. That was what was going on. The side talks. And this was a cinema. And I was so shocked. That it got to a point I had to be looking back like, is this not madness? You can have this thoughts, but even in your mind, for you to voice it out, shows the kind of, the kind of toxic narrative that Nigerian people still have. And it becomes hard for celebrities to come out. There are not a popular guy, George B. K., who was a singer that was accused of being gay. And he was a gay singer. So he sang a fantastic song. He has a, such a fantastic voice. He sang the song. Uh, this flow is going crazy. Go gaga. Go. So people know him. Go gaga. That guy, immediately that gay woman come, they came up. Uh, that guy's career went into the grave. And uh, since that time, I've never seen such a fantastic. This guy was, when he came up, people felt like he was with Divo and Nico. He went for his money because their voice sounded similar. And the guy like, had much more energy. He had much more. So people were feeling like, oh. He's... But immediately that woman came up. Came up. It was almost as if the career went into a dimension. Most of the brands we have in Nigeria will not want to identify with someone who is queer, who stands for the queer community. They would rather want to shut that person down, feel a kind of prejudice towards that person, feel a kind of disconnect towards that person. I'm sure Faust would have gotten 10 times more to where he is than he is today, because that guy is a fantastic singer, fantastic rapper, fantastic person, 
But because of that, the fact that I continue to align with the LGBT community member and become a good ally to assert singing in his songs about them and say they shouldn't be judged. That hypocrite, the song he sang with this guy, everybody's an hypocrite and uh, who are we to crucify the homosexuals? Most of them are done the evolve from time. But because of that, people are fighting against him. When he, anytime he drops a video, anytime he drops something, that's what people see. And the not see his artistic side. So you will not judge when people try to say, oh, because I'm a celebrity, I don't want, I want to receive endorsement from brands. I don't want to fall towards the, on the bad book of brands. So they decide to criticize the LGBT community. Because we see in Nigeria, most people that are fighting against the community, that abuse them, that talk hate against them, they continue to be promoted. Why those who stand by them? So people continue to go against them, saying that, oh, I'm a Christian, because most of the brands are being headed by either Christians or Muslims, religious people. And before you know, they are religious people, into the parts that, oh, I don't want Christians not to, so that they don't find against my brand. So I want to follow the Christian life or the Muslim life. And we know Christians are united, Christians are Muslim, or all religions, almost all religions, united together, found against the LGBTQI culture. So it's just a really, really messy way we go around. And I'm, 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 I will not be surprised that uh, uh, that's the reason why the guy would not want to align. That's why most celebrities do. She wants to not align towards the LGBT community. Movement. It takes a lot of guts to be able to align with them. So means I think you want to say something and find out what's going to this now. I feel from day one as a celebrity or before you become a celebrity, be open so people know you. See, darling, it's, I, I've said it and I've said it. I've come to this mental stage where I'm like, this is who I am. If you're going to leave, leave now. If you're going to leave, I, my, I'm my dear, you are next. My love, you are an LGBT character activist. You are not a man. I, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. Let me. Let me. Anyway, wait, wait, I'm coming. I'm coming. And I'm coming. Let me lie. Let me lie. Top brands, they are actually homophobic. So you might not get those endorsements if you come out. That is that. That is true. That is very true. But at the end of the whole day, is that top brand more? Do I sacrifice myself? Is that more important than you? That's the question you need to ask yourself. That relationship, that brand endorsement, that lifestyle, is it more important than you? Because at the end of the world, the thing they are giving out is themselves. They are sacrificing themselves. They are, they are denying themselves. They are suppressing themselves. They are removing a feeling that is in so do them. You feel, I, I, don't, I want to just get something because I find out yes. we don't make this. I know I just it will, it will be attacking more of the celebrity or attacking the culture because in our blood, let's shift it. Tilt the balance now. Foreigners, they would want to identify with the LGBT community. So as fast, even um gebating, or what's the word? I think the word that word is gebating, yes. Yes, gebating. The members of the community just to get LGBT crime fans. When people have called them out, a lot of them from my but, 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 but even in that abroad, even in that for gebating. Like yeah, you even to get to see. so it's about the culture, not just so you, you have your final go, we're just go, like, yeah, go. So we're having a culture, so it's like more of attacking the culture because the culture they twist towards LGBTQI bites and LGBTQI right, if you are in support of it, they make you what's the word? They make you seem like a super model or seem like a super brand, or you're like a idol for them. But tilt it over here, Nigeria. That's why the baby's career abroad is dead, but it comes to Nigeria here. Yeah, he gets a royal palace welcome because our culture supports homophobic people and those homophobic people. So should he be a, should he be a celebrity or more of a culture thing? If the culture still still see what the LGBTQI community members, they produce film that celebrates the LGBTQI members, we promote it, we stand with it, we make it as popular, we show that, oh, the film tops anything that includes a queer character, we make sure that our film lies to number one. People will be forced to include more queer characters. It's something to do with music. They include more queer characters than music. So it should be about the culture and celebrity. To just adjust this to the final words. Thank you very much. And for me, I think it's also about the celebrities. America did not get to where it is. The America was not just, you know, you know, just uh, queer accepting, you know, or Canada was not just queer accepting. People had to literally stand. People had to shout. People had to die. That is the reality of where America got to. There were so many blood street, blood that was poured on the streets of America and Canada for us to get to this square liberation. And, and Nigeria, we are not ready to make the sacrifice, so we will not get there. South Africa made the sacrifice. Square people had to make sacrifice. If we all are hiding and saying it's culture, it's culture. America had its own culture. America was built on, it says, God's own country. America 
Africa was more homophobic even than Nigeria. So we know, we know things can change. Things can only change when people say this must change. And how do we say this must change? They are so many ways. One coming out and saying this is who I am. Things changed. Uh, just using myself as an example. Things changed in my life when I had to say, okay, will I choose, you know, having this relationship, having this church, having this homophobic people, or be my true self? And I chose to be my true self, and things changed. So I feel everybody has a little quota to play. If as even in this Nollywood industry, there are people like this guy, Uche Madagu, but even though he's a laughable character, but <laughs> But, but we still see that we still see that he is one of the people that say this is who I am I will continue to be who I am and he gets endorsement those who identify with you will identify with you that is why we are campaigning and shouting we need to start building LGBTQ brands those brands that are affiliating with LGBT queer people are LGBT build brand even where I'm working the founder of where I'm working is a queer person that built that place and that is why it is queer friendly so you don't expect somebody who is a very homophobic person to build a, a brand and then endorse you that he hates. No, it doesn't change. So we need to be the ones to bring the change. If you want to produce queer movies, we need to make them. If you want to make sure that the uh, queer media that are going to be broadcasted, we need to also be in place of power to make sure that we obtain this power to make this change at the same thing yes it's too it is the celebrities that needs to be blamed because even when they come to these uh, 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 queer friendly countries how do they portray lgbtq communities example james brown was in london did james brown identify with the queer community in london you get my point did he identify did he contribute did he did he add any value or did he hide in his shell? Most people who have traveled from Nigeria and are abroad, have they done anything to identify with the queer community here, even in Toronto? What we hear is, eh, I no one go make the no no say I be homosexual. Ah, my family go find that. They feel feel me. If we, that is how we continue to my dear, we will be praising and will be the ones empowering homophobia. Until we come out and say, I don't give a damn shit. I'm going to help my community. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to be who I am. That is the only way change can be. Thanks for listening. Please share this video, like it, support our go for me. I know we have talked over the bubble. We have to say the necessary things so that at least those who get coconut head, water go day inside. And peace out.